Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the infamous Van Halen elephant sound. Now, I know others have done this video before, but I've seen people do it in slightly differing ways, so I wanted to show you my way. And I went back to the original source to make sure I was doing it right. If you don't know what I'm talking about, back in 1986, MTV did a little mini documentary on the band um, after Sammy Hagar joined, right? It was the newly reformed Van Halen, and they were all backstage goofing off, and Eddie was making animal noises. And so, again, I went back to watch that original video to make sure I was doing it exactly right. Now, you will need a guitar with a tremolo bar for this. So go grab it, and let's jump on into it. All right, so I'm going to play it for you a couple times, and then we'll break it down step by step. Now, before we start breaking it down step by step, I want you to learn the harmonics, okay? Um, these are natural harmonics. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll explain really quickly. Basically, you take your finger and you lightly touch the string above the fret bar, okay? You're not pressing down hard. You're just lightly touching, putting very light pressure on it. When you do that, it creates a natural harmonic when you at certain uh, places on the string, okay? The fourth, fifth, 7th and 12th are probably the most popular places to do it. Um, but you can do it all up and down the fretboard. Watch when I pick the G string and just slightly slide my finger down it. Right? All those natural harmonics start to pop out. Okay? That's a natural harmonic. Uh, and you're going to be doing them at the 5th fret of the G string, the 7th fret of the B string, and the 12th fret of the high E. Okay? So 5th fret of G, 7th fret of the B, and 12th fret of the high E, okay? When you play them all together, it creates this very dissonant sound, right? That's very important to, uh, to capturing that tone, the elephant sound, okay? And um, now I've, some, I've seen some people that also include the 12th fret of the low E in it, like this. Okay, I don't do that. And when I watch the original video of Eddie playing, I don't see him add in that low E. I just see the fifth fret of the G, seventh fret of the B, and twelfth fret of the high E. So first thing you need to do is make sure your volume is all the way down on your guitar. Okay, put it all the way off, all the way down. Then you're going to hit the harmonics, fifth fret G string, seventh fret B string, twelfth fret high E string. Okay, and while those harmonics are ringing out, you're going to bring the bar down, and then, at, and then you're going to slowly raise the volume on the guitar as you're bringing the, the bar up. Okay? So watch. Hit the harmonics. Grab the bar. Bring it down. Slowly bring, bring the volume up. Now you see I waited a little too long. You've got to do it quickly. If you wait too long, the harmonics are going to die out. Okay? So let me do it quickly now. And see how at the end I kind of bring the bar back down a little bit? Okay? So again, here's the order. Volume down, harmonics, bar down, and then volume and bar up together. And then the, vo the, and then the bar back down a little bit. Okay? Now in terms of effects, you may have noticed I've got a little bit of reverb going on. You can do it dry without the reverb, and it's still going to sound pretty good. I just think with a little bit of reverb, it just kind of livens it up. All right, that was my video showing you how to play Eddie Van Halen's Elephant Sound. If you want to check out the original video, just do a search for Van Halen MTV 1986 and you can check it out yourself. If you have any questions, as always, leave them down below and I will answer all as time allows. Until next time. Thank you.